Hello, this is The Handshake with me, Lynn Komdisha on New Vision TV, and I have with me Edna Ruth Moviru. Edna, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lynn. We are still looking at what's happening with the budget, and now the Ministry of Finance has uh, proposed certain taxes, one uh, among so many others, of course, and they say this is contained uh, in the Excise Duty Amendment Act 2018. It involves, uh, rather, includes 1% tax on mobile money transactions. Yes, now this is tax on receiving money, on making payments, and on <laughs> withdrawals. Edna, this is interesting. 1%, uh, okay, fine, on everything, every time you transact. What does this mean, really? Um... This means that it's going to be a little more expensive to transact on mobile money. Yeah. Yes, it's going to cost us. And um, there are already concerns. We should all be concerned. We all use mobile money. Yeah, so sure. So it's, it's going to be a little more expensive for us to... <laughs> I, I still think uh, it is discouraging, you know, us discouraging us from using mobile money. Yes, it is. One percent on every movement of your money mm -hmm. adds up. Yeah. Yes. So um, if I put my 10K on my mobile money account and then one percent goes off, yes. then I send it, I send, I, I probably pay for your car, mm -hmm. uh, 8K and another one percent, you goes. know, it's, I'm losing small amounts at every, and, and then because it, it, it will also defeats the purpose of mobile money. Yes. Mobile money is about convenience, it's about uh, affordability. True, true. So if you're going to add a tax mm -hmm. onto that, it's a problem. You're going to, people will eventually abandon, abandon it. Absolutely. Yes, because there are other avenues. It's just that this is convenient, but there are other avenues to make these payments. Well, well, of course they are, but... They will cost you time because, mm -hmm. I mean, you'll have to leave your living room and go and make this payment to try yeah. and save your 1%. But mm -hmm. it's, it, I don't think it's a, a, it's not a good move. Okay. Yeah. You know, people were reacting to it and thinking mm. this is some sort of uh, double, even triple taxation. Mm. Wouldn't you think so? Well, um, <laughs> it's... It's going to be a problem <laughs> because if <laughs> every movement of yeah. money being taxed is, um, at if I'm being taxed at every point, yes, I mean it's a burden on me. Absolutely, yes, it's a burden on me. And um, one percent of ten thousand might not be that much, but my one percent of one million shillings is a lot. Yes. So if I do a lot of business on mobile money, mm. then we're going to have a, a big challenge. So it also sounds discriminatory, like it applies to only mobile money. And this means my money has already mm. been taxed, assuming from my salary there's tax. Mm. Uh, by the time I withdraw it from the bank, mm. tax. Now I've put it on my phone. Tax. <laughs> you know that our bank transactions are already taxed? Yes. Yes. So it's, it's um, the bigger challenge is that if you're trying to have a financially inclusive uh, economy, mm -hmm. this is not a good thing. You saw how banks struggle to grow the number of accounts they had. Yes, People are working yes. out of the system. Yeah. Then finally you have them in a mobile system and then you bring up a tax, mm -hmm. you see. So you open up something that is convenient for everybody mm -hmm. and then you it begins to cost them yeah. and and why should I be there if I'm going to lose yeah. and many of these transactions are really some of them are big there are people who move big amounts of Abs money yeah, on mobile money so much. and there are those that use it for small you know so I think if we just thought harder mm -hmm. if the revenue people thought harder mobile money wouldn't be the place to tax we already have charges you see I'm already paying for this service, mm. then I have to pay a tax on the service. Mm. It's going to become a problem for the targets of financial inclusion that yeah. we have committed to. Wow, yes. wow. Now one other puzzling question is, does it meet the basic principles of taxation? Um, yeah, we, we are, because mobile money affects us, so we have to mm. know what's going on. 
Um, well, <laughs> I don't know about meeting the principles of taxation, mm -hmm. but if we are going to look at the bigger purpose yeah. of having a mobile money payment system and the fact that we are aiming to have everybody in, uh, in everyone included in a system where they can transact easily, freely, at the most affordable cost, mm -hmm. we are, it's not the right direction to mm. take. Yes. And you know it is contained in their excise duty amendment Oh Act. yeah, the amendments have, <laughs> yeah, the, um, the, there are a number of amendments yes. and well, it's still early days. We have yeah, a, true, a num true. not so early days really, but there's still time to talk about it. So we hope that as the discussion goes on, mm. they see the fact that it's defeating certain purposes. Anyway, to they have until time. May, yes. May 30th, I think. Mm. To, to make decisions. Yes, so we hope that the discussion, because the feedback has mm. been immediate. Yes. Everyone in the financial technology area, everyone in the financial inclusion area has come up to say that this is counterintuitive. Yeah. So we hope that the voices are heard and mm. we hope that as we get towards the, uh, the end of the budgeting mm. process, there are other avenues that will be used to hopefully. collect taxes. Yeah, well, we look forward to that moment and hopefully it can come. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, mm. I really worry about my country, but well, it is my country and I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Edna. Thank you, Lynn.